I, Reverend Father Joseph D. Fernandez, Rector of the Mary Help of Christians Minor Seminary, declare you graduates of Mary Help of Christians Minor Seminary of the formation year 2021-2022. Our seminary is under the mantle and patronage of Mary, help of Christians. Whether you proceed to the priesthood or stay faithful as a layman, you will always carry the mark that you were formed under the shadow of Mary, the helper. Mary, the helper of Christians. For us, who have proceeded to theology, you know that the title Helper is one of the oldest titles of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The first follower of Jesus Christ to proclaim about His resurrection is a woman. And further, the first person to be missioned by Christ to announce His resurrection is a woman. Women have always been a critical and creative participant in the life and mission of the Church. I do not think that I have to belabor the point that there were more women followers of Christ at the foot of the cross. And the reason why Mary of Magdala knew where to look for Jesus was because it was they, the women followers of Jesus, who brought Christ's remains to the tomb, while most of the men were in hiding. The first challenge, my dear seminarians, is you must never forget your need to be helped. Your need for help. You can get a degree, pursue another degree. You can be assigned, move to another assignment. You can have a job and move to the next job. If you don't pursue the priesthood, you marry, you have a family, you work, you gain money. But never forget that we are all in need of help. Because when you always remember that you are a man always in need, that will keep your feet flat on the ground. It will protect you from pride. It will protect you from self-conceit. It will protect you from self-worship. It will protect you from self-adoration. The second challenge of Mary Help of Christians is that we are called to imitate her. And therefore, as important as your need to be helped is also the mission to be a helper that you cannot always be on the receiving end. You were formed, you were educated, so that you can make this world a better place. While the first one is a privilege, the second one is a responsibility. Your need to be helped, you will be helped by many. But the mission to help others it is a responsibility that God will ask from us at the sunset of our lives. But if you substitute help for love, and you say that I show my love by helping, you are loving by being helpful, then you can paraphrase Gabriel Marcel, a philosopher you met in your seminary who said, to say to somebody, I love you, is to say to that person, you will not die. To love somebody is to say to that person, you will never die. Our helping is not to make us feel good that we are helping. Our helping is not to make them feel feel good that they are helped. Our helping has a purpose, and the purpose of Mary Health of Christians 
is not for you to receive a diploma. The purpose of Mary Help of Christians is not for you to receive a medallion. The purpose of Mary Help of Christians is to lead you to life everlasting. Mary Help of Christians loves you. And because Mary Help of Christians loves you, Mary Help of Christians will not allow you to die because she will lead you to life everlasting. In other words, my dear seminarians, remember, we did not form you just for graduation. We did not form you just for preparation for the future. We are not even just forming you to become priests. We are preparing you for something greater than the priesthood. And what is that? Life everlasting. My prayers for all of you as you continue your vocational journey. May you find the face of the risen Christ in the people that you encounter. And may all the people you meet in this journey recognize the presence of the risen Christ in your words, deeds, and faces. May you be persons who serve, are authentic, and passionate bringing the lives of the people you serve to greater heights and better lives. May you have the courage and the passion to show and proclaim the truth. So I say, Mary, help of Christians, please pray for all of us. Magandang umaga sa inyo. What is in the seminary? There is a word I can personally describe about what is and what is in the seminary. The word is Boom Tahanan Abong Seminary is not an exclusive school for young men Nor a privileged place for the elites It is a home where a true community and fraternal charity Are lived in pananabangan spirituality Spirituality of being caretakers for one another. Seminary has become a home for each seminary, whether in the high school, in the college, or in the theology seminary. It is a home because each of us considered one another not only as classmates but as brothers in the family of God. A seminary is a home because Family is not only bonded by blood, but it is also united through the call of God. My dear graduates, take heart. You have been greatly helped more than other men dream to be helped. Do not take the blessings for granted. You might think that the grass is always greener outside the seminary. You might think that the life is always better outside the seminary. I really don't know. I only know one thing. The good life is not found inside or outside the fence of the seminary. The good life is found where God is. So, Instead of dreaming outside the seminary, instead of dreaming to proceed to other seminaries, the question to ask is, God, where are you? And I want to follow you.